The clone tool in After Effects is really powerful. Uh, you select it up here in the toolbar. Now we're in Motion Design Paint CS55. If you're in CS55, open that project. If you're not, if you're in CS5 or CS4, open up the CS4 equivalent project. And you can find both of those in the Project Files folder in the Motion Design Wacom subfolder. Once you're in there, you want to open up 07A Scratch Removal Start. And you want to select the Clone tool from up here in the toolbar. And this is the Clone Stamp tool here. Now, it will automatically open the panels if you have this selected. And you'll see that the Brushes panel and the Paint panel are automatically selected. Now, the Paint panel is where you can find most of the clone options. I'm a bit short of space, so I'm going to drag the Paint panel onto the Brushes panel so we can see it a little bit more clearly. And I'll also close up my Info, Audio and Preview panels so we have a bit more space. Now, the Clone tool is fantastic. It allows you to clone from one place to another. And I'm just going to very quickly show you that. If I select a slightly different brush, first of all, a pretty standard brush, so a 13 hard round brush I'm choosing. And then I come over here to the Layer panel. I can hold down the Option key or Alt key on the PC, and I've got an Express key set up on my Wacom tablet to do that. I can select this car, and then I can bring the car over here and paint it. And because this is video footage, that's going to play in real time, so we can create copies of cars and things like that. But as well as being able to sample from a different place like you can with, say, Photoshop, the difference in After Effects is you can also paint from a different time. So, for example, if I want to get rid of something out of a shot, like this scratch here, what I can do is say, OK, I'll paint from the frame before, and that will get rid of the scratch. You'll see in the frame before, there's no scratch. In this frame, there is a scratch. Now, this is Artbeats footage. Artbeats have kindly donated footage to this project, and it didn't have a scratch in it. I actually created this scratch. So just be aware, if you buy Artbeats footage, it doesn't normally have a scratch. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our paint panel. If you can't see it, just go up to Window, Paint, and that should bring it to the front again. And instead of offsetting in position, what we're going to do is just reset that so we're not offsetting position, but we're offsetting in time. So I'm going to say take my paint from minus one frame. So it's going to take the paint from the frame before. And all I need to do now to paint out that scratch is just paint on here. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I only want to paint for one frame. So I'm going to say use a single frame paint. I don't want it to paint over the whole thing. Now, I can click and drag down here, but it's a bit tricky to keep it straight. So a little tip for you. If we maximize by clicking on my Maximize Express key and then click at the top and hold down the Shift key and click at the bottom and it will paint in between. So hold down Shift, click at the top, click at the bottom, and it should paint in between. Now, I didn't have a big enough brush selected, so I'm just going to undo that. Now, this will happen if you have pressure sensitivity on. Sometimes it's difficult to control the width of the brush, especially for something as narrow as this. So a little tip for you. If we go back to the brushes panel and just turn off pressure sensitivity, then we'll make sure that the diameter is enough. That's 13 pixels. And now we can go through the same process again. So hold down Shift, click at the top, hold down Shift, click at the bottom, and it fills in the space in between. Now, if you want to see how that paint stroke looks without the background, we can open up our paint in the effects and say paint on transparent. If you look very clearly, you should see a very a tiny little line in there if we go up to 200%. Well, it's very difficult to see, but there is a line in there which is removing the scratch for us. So if we go back to here now, we can preview that. And the scratch is completely gone. So for removing things from shots, rather than painting from a different place with the clone tool, you can paint from a different time.